Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to try to make the richest, deepest, most perfect green that we possibly can. I'm gonna be using goldenrod as the first attempt because the goldenrod uh, was the yellowest yellow thing I've ever seen in my life. And I would love to not have to deal with the weld again. So we'll be doing some Saxon blue today and monitoring our different greens that we get from our Saxon blue. If we need to add another uh, color like kutch or avocado, or not avocado, um, pomegranate skins also make a yellowy green, and those also can be over dyed in the Saxon. Uh, but now at this point, we're waiting for more silk because I bought uh, more silk and I've used all the silk. We're at seven yards. Um, I am a little proud of it, but I'm also a little not proud. It's like $160 in silk, so it's all good. You can learn from my mistakes so you don't have to use all seven yards on something you don't want <laughs> when you buy silk. Okay, let's try it. Okay, I put what I would describe as two and a half droppers full of the Saxon Blue. I'm going to start there and add more color rather than try to exhaust the dye bath because we all know how good I am at that which is to say not. So that's two and a half droppers full of Saxon Blue in probably about a gallon-ish of water, gallon and a half maybe. Uh, okay, and I'm gonna go grab some of our little test strips, not only of plain silk, but also yellow silk to see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, so this is our first little test strips here. They've only been in a couple of minutes. Come on, buddy, you can focus. There we go. Whoop, 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 this one, this one, there we go. Okay, it took me a second to dig them out. So this is not quite as rich as I want it, but it is rich enough that I could over dye other things with it. So if I wanted to, I could over dye now or throw something else in. That's how the blue control came out. So I'm going to add probably one and a half more droppers full, and then we'll test these again. I'm gonna swish them around one more time, and then we will stop the dye bath for these little pieces, increase the color, and then test again. So we'll try to do this as semi-scientifically as possible. Okay, rather than adding more to the dye bath, which was probably a good decision, uh, I just let it go for another little bit here, and it has turned a lovely teal, but it's definitely not green. Am I gonna have to actually buy indigo to make real green? Oh Lord, this is Saxon Blue, which is made from indigo. But uh, whew. anyway, uh, while that's doing that, and I will make I will make yellow, or, or I guess teal today, we're gonna turn this into kind of a uh, Saxon Blue over dyeing experiment. So I have, oops, I have here some really great, perfect red cochineal that I took out of the dye bath. That's a pretty primary blue, that's not bad. You would think that it would turn the yellow green. Well, anyway, I figured I would throw this in uh, and let the dye bath use some of it up and kind of turn this into a color change experiment. And I will go get some more yellow uh, and we'll see what we can come up with here. Maybe if it was more into an oak gall tannin, it would be more sad looking. I wonder. All right, I'm going to let these roll around in here and I will update you if I add anything or pull anything out of our Saxon Blue over dye experiment for the day. Okay, there is a brief moment in time when it is almost the correct green. So I just have to aggressively <laughs> monitor this before it turns blue, and then it will be green. That's not stressful at all. Yet again, made too strong of a dye bath. Boy, polloi. The red has come out. Oh, ooh, oh my God. I really lose things in this pot. Uh, a beautiful, deep, uh, purpley maroon. Very nice. So this is, I mean, it's working great, like just like it should. It's just terrifyingly fast and you have to be quick. Uh, you may not see me while I do the green because I'm afraid of ruining it. It's a really big piece of silk that I'm trying to make into a Lithuanian flag and I need the green, but this scares me. It's so strong. <laughs> Maybe I'll exhaust it and make another teal. I don't know. Okay, so I am rinsing off all the over dyeing and every other thing that I threw in there. And the best green I got, thank goodness, I uh, took it out when it looked more like this. It was a much more grassy green, which if I could have just darkened this and saddened it, that would have been fine too. But this will be just fine for my Lithuanian flag. 
And then our purples are looking great too. So I will see you and show you all these when we have laundered them. But right now they are getting their uh, wash in the super strong, uh, oh, for goodness sakes, it's the quilt soap to help the, uh, the dye set in there. So anyway, we'll be giving this a good laundering. It's already been laundered multiple times, but I just put this big fatty in there, so he's dropping a lot of blue, as it were. But what a wild bowl. It's crazy in there. Okay, I will show you these when they're all... Hey, well, here is our wacky dye experiment. This did not go like I had planned. Uh, this is our Saxon blue over dyeing onto silk. Now, these two and all of these little aqua colored ones are from the very first dye vat, which I find even more strange uh, because this looked straight up teal and it was so dark. I find that like the the reds, the yellows, they all look pretty much the same color when they're wet to dry. The greens and the blues are big fat liars. These looked so dark and so ready to come out and they were dark when they were hanging and now they are not. These um, greens, this one got stuck in first when I was testing it and I was thinking if I leave this in any longer it will start to get teal. Because these, which were also yellow, like this one when they started, started to get really teal. And these had been in there about three minutes longer. And I didn't want teal. I wanted hunter green. However, this is what I was getting. This was what I was getting after a couple more minutes. I didn't want this. What I thought I got in between those two was this. I I might just re-dye this one for the heck of it and just stick it right back into the Saxon blue and see if it does turn this teal or if I can get it to turn hunter green maybe with some iron to satin it. Uh, these ones were a bright red tin treated cochineal for making the red strip of my Lithuanian flag project. These ones in longer obviously than this one, because I lost them in the bottom of the pot. These ones, forgotten in the bottom of the pot for the duration of the entire bath, didn't pull them out to the end. These are the only ones that are a true purple. But sometimes it uptakes the dye and it doesn't ever get any darker, no matter how long you stir it. It doesn't seem, these are all alum mordanted. It, it seems to be a very if you're really trying to go for a color, it's a very unpredictable dye bath <laughs> because it seems to change literally fabric to fabric, the uh, density of the dye. So I might try to make a really, really heavy dye and see if I can get either of these to turn hunter green tomorrow. These are beautiful. This was a fun experiment. This is just like a, a slightly darker cochineal. Honestly, it's just roughly more burgundy. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm not sad about it. This is like a wonderful blue grayish purple. It's really more purpley gray. There, that's a better light balance. Anyway, and then these ones were all just the controls of the blue. And none of them are as incredibly dark blue as they looked when I put them in there. So these may get a re-dye and I will probably do a short of that <laughs> rather than a whole nother video. But I sincerely appreciate you coming along if you would be so kind, uh, check out my Patreon where I have tons of videos and blog entries and stuff about me as a person, and it's a really great community. And I thank my patrons especially for helping me as I transition to all different kinds of fiber arts to learn them with you. Um, and I hope you will come to the next experiment. I'll see you on the other side. Bye!